this because I, I mean I get this question or comment a lot, of course, when I talk about this stuff. Um, a, a lot of the Jews that I've talked to seem to be very pro-immigration, but not to Israel. Like, w w do you think that Israel should be taking a lot of Syrian refugees in? Um, it's probably not in their self-interest. Um, it's not what I asked. Uh, um, man, that's hard. <laughs> Uh, oh, really? Probably. I mean, yes or no? Uh, probably not. It, Why? Huh? Why? Uh, well, uh, don't don't you all value diversity? <laughs> Where, where's your multiculturalism preferences? I mean, why why is it bad? Uh, well, because uh, because they they sort of want to kill the people uh that they're that they're that they would immigrate to, um. Mm. Okay, so, but but wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on, man. Yeah? Didn't you just give me a whole speech about not judging people collectively? And innocent until proven guilty, my friend? <laughs> oh, uh, wait, is that only for Christians? Is that only for white people? When it comes to your country, ah, things get a little different, right? Um, I mean, well, I'm not saying that they have a right to not let them in. I'm just saying it's probably... Not in their interest to do it. Um, <laughs> Come but, on. You know you're squirming, right? I, I don't mean to be mean, but you understand <laughs> this is a bit tough to hear from the outside, right? You people should accept all these Muslims. When it comes to Israel, oh, man, they just be, they, they want to kill us. It's terrible. Yeah. Yep. You still have, yeah, so, I mean, and this is what drives, frankly, non-Jews a little crazy. And I'm sure it drives, drives some Jews crazy as well, too, right? But you understand, this is like, why is there this incessant demand that, that non-Jewish countries take in all these incompatible cultures when Jews are paying Jews from North Africa to leave Israel, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, this is making no sense. There's no consistency here, right? I'm not, I'm not putting this on you, the whole thing. But you understand that there's been a bit of a reversal now that we're talking about Israel rather than, say, America. Mm -hmm. Right. And why do you think that? It, I mean, were you surprised when I asked you that question? Um, no, I mean, it's a fair point. A, a bit, but it's, a, it's a, certainly a fair question to ask. Um, yeah. So why, why is it this insistence on immigration to non-Jewish countries from incompatible cultures, but when it comes to Israel? Like, why, why do you think there is this double standard? That Jews have? Well, well, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to judge collectively. I'm just saying that that well, I, I think a, a lot of people in the Jews media seem to be very. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Jews have been killed a lot, and probably uh, to as to a greater degree than other groups, so they're they're more protected. I mean, I think that's probably the probably the answer, right? I mean, do you not think that a lot of Christians were killed when the Muslims were? taking Jews, taking Christians, the European Christians as slaves by the millions when the Muslims were advancing all the way up to the gates of Vienna. I've got this whole truth about crusades thing that millions and millions and millions of Christians, probably tens of millions over the 1400 year history of these conflicts, have been brutally enslaved and raped and murdered by Muslims. And uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know in the war of who suffered more. I mean, I don't think anyone wins fundamentally, but I wouldn't also say that Jews have the exclusion, you know, like it's the massive, you know, throughout most of human history, uh, 20th century, obviously, but it's different. But when it came, you know, it wasn't the, it wasn't the Muslims killing uh, the Jews in, in Germany. But um, as far as Christians go, yeah, there have been a lot of, uh, a lot of murders and enslavements and rapes of Christians by uh, Muslims. So it would seem like, I don't know. It, I don't quite understand the double standard, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, it's probably also tribal, you know. I mean, I, right? Why did, the, why did the rabbi in my high school say don't give blood to non-Jews? So it's probably, you know, there's probably a tribal aspect there also. Okay, but then what's wrong with um, white European Christians being tribal? Why didn't the Jews say, yeah, we can understand it, man. We don't want them in our country either. Or is it if they go to the West, they're not coming to Israel? Or is it, well, it destabilizes countries that maybe Israel feels in competition to? I don't know the answer. I'm just, I'm, I'm brainstorming, so to speak. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Why, uh, why? You think most Jews are pro 
Im immigrant. I mean, yeah, maybe. Um, well, if most Jews are on the left in general, and most people on the left are pro-immigration, except with regards to Israel. Like Israel has a wall, right? Israel has a big giant wall, which is very effective. And then basically white middle class Christians in America talk about building a wall. And they don't get a lot of support from the Jewish lobby who say, damn, I can't believe it took you guys this long. We've had a wall around Israel for decades. It works really, really well. You guys should do it, too. <laughs> Right. Yeah. It, it does make people a little bit suspicious. I, I'll tell you that. And I, you know, I don't know what the answer is. And you know, if 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 you're out there and you are of the Abrahamic persuasion, <laughs> you want to call in and you know set me straight on this. But you know, people outside. I mean, within the Jewish community, maybe you seemed a bit surprised. Maybe people don't think about it that much. Outside the Jewish community, people kind of notice this. Okay, Jews. Israel Jews. <laughs> Israel must remain Jewish. It is fundamental. If we let lots of non-Jews in, it's no longer a Jewish country. But then when it comes to Christian countries, it's like, oh yeah, you guys should take everyone. Everyone. Everyone who, you know, that maybe they hate you, maybe it's completely incompatible, maybe there's Sharia law being proposed in your courts, maybe there are no-go zones, maybe there are terrorists blowing you up, but you guys should take them. Absolutely. When it comes to Israel, we want a big wall and pretty much only Jews, <laughs> right? I mean, that's, you know, it's a bit of a double standard, which I'm sure you can see. I don't need to labor the point. No, I agree. If, if Jews want Israel to remain Jewish, that's called cultural pride. If white Christians want white Christian countries to remain white Christian, I guess, what, all white Christians are now evil racist bigots. It, it just, you know. Mm -hmm. it just no, there's a double silly. standard. I mean, Anyway, listen, talk to your Jewish friends. You can be the Goyim mole. <laughs> you can be, you, and seriously, I'm, I'm putting you, take, take this on if you want, because I'm telling you, you could do a lot of good to Christian Jewish relationships if you go and find me a good reason for this double standard. Bring it back to me. Remember, you're anonymous. You're anonymous. And you can bring it back to me, and you can tell me the answer. So that all of these people in the comment section of my videos and in my inbox and wherever else people can get in touch with us, uh, constantly pointing this out, you can give us all a great answer that will put a lot of people's minds at ease. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll ask my Jewish friends. Do not talk to the rabbi in your high school because I would not want to think that he's uh, represented want to set foot Jewish in thought as a whole. Again. So I'm not, no. I don't plan on going there. That was the worst four years of my life. I don't plan on right. setting foot there, so not a problem. No, but ask them. Ask them. You can just say, ask them, what do you think of immigration to America or to, to Europe or, you know, the traditionally white Christian countries? And what do you think of Trump building a wall? And, you know, I'm pretty sure they're going to say multiculturalism, immigration to other countries is good and building a wall is terrible. And say, well, what do you think of immigration of these people to Israel instead? And what do you, do you think Israel should tear down its wall because walls are really bad? I think you'll see a 180. I see you. Yeah. You can tell yeah. me. And, and I mean, I know, I know Ben Shapiro's answer would probably be something like, because um, most Jews who are religious are not of the left, typically, right? So, like, where I grew up, you know, pretty much everyone in my school and in the community I grew up with was not, you know, of the left. And so... You know, I I think you know people like Ben Shapiro would say, well, the people who you know they're they're not Jewish culturally, so of the people who are pro uh, immigration. But yeah, well, okay, but um, they still would not advocate immigration of non or anti Jewish elements into Israel, right? I mean, in Israel, uh, they don't, as far as I understand it, I say they, right? But Israel doesn't particularly care about whether you're a God fearing. Jew because they've had uh, standards for for people from Russia, which are genetic tests. And I don't think that God shows up in the genetics. So I think that if you can prove Jewish lineage, you get to go to Israel. I don't think that there's a religious test to get into Israel. So I don't think that religion would fundamentally be the differentiator when it came to um, right. multicultural in immigration. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll be the mole, I guess. Yeah. Good. And, and this way we'll forgive everyone for there not being enough blood on 9-11. And you can get us the answers, which I'm sure will put people's uh, minds at ease. <laughs> All right, sounds fair enough. All right. Well, thanks, Daniel. Appreciate the call. I uh, really appreciate uh, 
you sharing. I look forward. I'm serious about this, man. Go get us the facts. Uh, I look forward to hearing back from you uh, about all this stuff in the future and appreciate your call tonight. No problem. Great talking to you.